During the three months of armed clashes in the Donbass region, the Kiev authorities have not been able to quell the uprising of the people's militia. Inept command, thousands of dead soldiers, and a critical shortage of funding does not give the Kiev regime any hope of winning. Kiev's appeals to NATO for military assistance were ignored. So far, the conflict in the east of Ukraine looks local, and the attempts to provoke Russia into a war with Ukraine did not work. The next attempt from Kiev was the shooting down by the Ukrainian military of a civilian aircraft. The responsibility for this terrible tragedy, even without having started an investigation, was put upon Russia, which supports the people's militia. Such a crime was necessary for the Kiev regime to make this conflict international and to show the whole world that the people's militia are the international terrorists. The exposure of this fabrication by the SBU fake militias negotiation, as well as the hard facts provided by the Russian general staff, proves the involvement of the Ukrainian army in the plane crash. This provocative murder was carried out under the orders of Kiev and the American Special Services in order to draw NATO into a war with Russia. Why do Americans need this war? For improving their economic position, just as they did in the First and the Second World Wars. The accusation of Russian aggression allows countries to impose sanctions on it, freeze assets of the Russian structures, causing the write-off of hundreds of billions of dollars and ease the heavy debt burden of the United States. Broken economic relations with Russia are going to aggravate the condition of the European economy and weaken its position in competition with America. The destabilization of the banking system will encourage the capital outflows into the United States to maintain the dollar pyramid. The retraction of the European countries into a war with Russia is going to strengthen their political dependence on America, which will lead to decisions favorable to the United States rather than the EU. Thanks to this war, the American military-industrial complex will get many orders. The US economy will flourish. Meanwhile, weakened by the war, Russia will be easier to control, as it used to be in the dashing 90s. Thus, after destroying the main competitors on the world's arena, America will get a strategic advantage in the fight for global leadership with China. In contrast to the EU and Russia's collapsed economy and piles of corpses, Americans will stay as winners. The war on foreign grounds is what has saved the economy of the United States more than once. It's safe to say that Ukraine will not stop the genocide of the Russian population and their provocations will become even more horrifying. Sooner or later, Russian troops will enter the territory of Ukraine. But to avoid millions of Russian, Ukrainian and European victims, the EU leaders must turn away from their overseas owners and admit that Russia does not only protect its national interests, but seeks to prevent the outbreak of World War III. Otherwise, the survivors of World War III are going to witness the new American economic miracle.